Welcome to Brightworks. Well, that took a little longer than planned. So, M96 engine out of a 2000 Boxster. Thank goodness I could work on it here in the air conditioning. But uh, basically, we had camshaft deviations and the little pads in the cam chain tensioners. Uh, yeah, you can see they're worn out. So, both of them on the uh, pressure side. The, uh, one of them cracked, got thrown away, but this is the other side, not quite as bad. And then the long paddle was perfectly fine, but since <clears throat> I was in there, we decided to change it anyway. But the uh, while you were in there monster, uh, bit pretty hard. So new water pump, new alternator, um, what else? Pulled the oil cooler off, replaced the oil cooler, seals. Went through, cleaned out the entire intake system. There was all kinds of gunk in there after 20 years. But now we're waiting on fuel injectors to get back. Uh, after 20 plus years of running those with ethanol gas, I figured, ah, let's go get them serviced. So, yeah, besides just getting in here, uh, change the spark plugs too. I mean, they had them out, so whatever. But uh, getting in here to change the tensioners, uh, all of that other stuff. So maybe 30 hours later and a few thousand dollars worth of ancillary parts, uh, we're getting close. So we'll get this little lady some fuel injectors and then we'll check back in with you after we uh, put it back together. But yeah, while it was out, let's see if we can go around the back. This is my list of things left to do. Uh, I already talked about the oil cooler seals. The uh, dipstick tube has an O-ring that we changed. The oil fill uh, thing has an O-ring that we changed. Changed the AOS. I don't know that there was necessarily anything wrong with it, but while we were in there. And then on the other side, where the uh, air oil separator draws off of bank two, we changed this valve. I uh, couldn't figure out if it was supposed to pass air, if it wasn't supposed to pass air. So sometimes blowing through it or putting a vacuum on it, it would move air. Sometimes it wouldn't. So I said, you know what, let's just uh, change that part right there after after 20 plus years. But uh, yeah, got her all sealed back up. Oh yeah, we also did a uh, uh, LN Engineering uh, low, lower temperature thermostat. So water pump, water pump was okay. Kind of odd though that when you spin the pulley, the pulley seemed out of round. So like there you can see that the, the pulley is over the little edge there, but if you spin it back, you can see more of the little edge. So I don't know what was going on with that. But we got the uh, proper alternator in here. So now it can freewheel. Manual transmission uses a different alternator than the automatic. But uh, yeah, we went a little bit further than planned. However, it, uh, it deserved it. It had been a while. All right, well, thanks for watching. And uh, if you like these videos, click that subscribe button. You can also check us out at brightworks.com.